welcome back to the Alliance Commander Come Back to All. Today I'm bringing you another Dart Expanse video. So today we're going to be reviewing the Boomco Halo UNSC MA5. Now this is a very lovely and awesome blaster. I personally find myself oftentimes using this thing or blaster many a times. So I'm going to give you a quick look of the detailings on this blaster. Just, and I'm not going to go into them because there's just so many. Now I'm going to move my hand for the second pass on this side. Okay. And then back to this side. So I find it pretty cool the detailing on this. It's even got an ejection place for the rounds where the extra, the gun was real, where I'd eject. It's got a full, full auto and counter thing right there, but it does not work. Now this blaster in Halo is a bullpup. Okay, it's a bullpup. Okay, but what Boomco did is instead of having magazine while here, because Nerf has grown a sense patented that for the Raven. What they did was they took the Rapid Madness, the flagship of the Boomco line, and took it, shrunk it size, and made it have a little steak bear on the tip. And they, they, they did an awesome job on this. There's an, a cool looking sticker there. Let me just grab the light again. It's really cool. So I really honestly love this blaster. Um, you do pump it. Um, some people have problem of it sticking out like this. Get more light. Of it sticking out like that. All you do is do it like this. Kind of tap it a little bit, and it'll go down. Um, with the rapid madness, it had a button on the side that you press that would uh, basically drain the air bladder without firing it, like without dry firing it. And we'll pump this up a little bit. What you do is you don't have the quick clip in it. And then pull the trigger. Now it won't just do one fire, it will do as many as it can. Then I'll just make a hissing sound. Um, that's simply just it draining the air. I mean, you can store an extra quick clip in the stock here, you press this button, and then you pull it out. It does lock in there to where you can't pull it out unless you press the button, which is very cool. Very nice stock. Um, very comfortable stock. Very good uh, cheek rest here. Um, they raise this up, like in the game, to where you can actually just barely see over this. Not barely, but you can see over it pretty well for me. And I use this crease line. I use that crease line, which it's just the manufacturing of it. I use that crease line as the aiming sight. Um, it has some very good detailing. It even shows the ra um, railgun barrel on it. Which is very cool. The actual barrel, like the stick barrel, does not work. The actual barrel is inside there. This flap does open up to let the quick clip all the way through. So it's a very fun, very, very fun blaster. And if you want it to be very, well, if you're you and you like doing this stuff, well, you can do this. I really like to fly. But so it's got a thumb hole stock, um, finger guard, which is very nice. Um, I recommend with this grip, because of how the way it is, it has this groove kind of right here-ish, that out jag there. I recommend like grabbing that with your hand like this. So it's like that. So you have the palm of your hand here is wrapped around that. Because that thing gives you a really good nice grip on this. Because then you can pump. Because it gives you fingers a good pull, then the palm of your hand a good push. I don't recommend doing this because that will tire on your arm out really well, very fast. So if you're right-handed, you hold the blaster with your right hand, hold this arm steady, put most of the power in your, of your right hand into the blaster. So you move the rest of the blaster, not this. Um, I think it shoots like five to four darts a second. It uses the Boomco rounds. It comes with two eight-round quick clips. Um, to load them, what you do is you just gently push it in. And it'll stay about there, then you shove it in a little bit more. It will stop. Um, these quick clips do stop when they go in. You push it in, and it stays. 
most of the quick, quick clips that you put in here will uh, go all the way through. So you kind of have to put it in there nice. Let me just open this little door here. I see down the barrel. See if you look, align it with the top, the fake barrel. The first dart is not in the direct center of the blaster. So you can do that with like a 40 round or 20 or whatever you have. It's not one of these. And you can line it up in there just where it doesn't do that. And then you pump it and fire it and you have a full firing. Now you can store any quick clip in this. You can have a 20, a 40, an 8 round, a 6 round. Recommend not having a 6 round because uh, the 8 round barely, barely sticks out of that. Have a 6 round where you're going to have to do is you're going to have to empty your first one and then press the button and let it drop in your hand. And then you can reload. Um, it's a lot of blaster. Um, very fun, very awesome. It's a good gun for you to just pop around a corner and say, Halo! Kind of like a pun there. Um, very cool, very good detailing, very smooth blaster, and very rough, and it's just an overall good blaster. It does say Halo right here, because this was a co-made blaster, and then also on the other side it says Boomco, because this was made by Boomco and the people who made Halo, because this was a combo blaster, whatever. So let's get into the firing test. Really quick before I do the firing test, you, it takes 40, 42, not 42, 52 pumps to make it to where the air release valve kicks in. I recommend pumping it fully fully because it does give you more air pressure slash power when you shoot the darts. With the two A-round clips, you can shoot them both with one pump. So with uh, no angle. Okay. That's where the average. Reloading. Now with a slight angle. Let's go see where the darts landed. Okay, guys, so one dart there, a few darts over here. This is where the major majority of the cluster happened, right about here. There's a few strays over here. So overall, pretty decent cluster. Um, with no angle, the darts were averaging about to here, about where that first dart is. Um, with, the, with the elevation, it was averaging about here, at the base of the window. So... Very good. Let's go talk about it more at the other viewing area. Hey guys, um, so most of the darts did average out in the same area almost for the where they landed. Um, if you want, you can do ricochet shots with Boomco blasters because Boomco darts do ricochet very well. And I do mean like you can hit a wall. Like let's say this is a wall, okay? Someone's over here. There's another wall right here, okay? But it's like a hallway right entrance here. Someone's here. You can't shoot them directly. You can hit the wall and bounce it out of them. It does a pretty good ricochet. Um, it's almost like a shotgun just because of how fast it shoots them. It is not a shotgun though. I'm just going to clarify that real quick. Because it does shoot a series of darts and not a wave. A wave is where like multiple darts are flying uh, at the same time in certain formation towards the target. Um, a series dart, a series gun or a full auto like this one has a series of them like this where one's following another in the same line. Shotguns shoot several in a wave. It's like shooting a squirt gun versus a hose. The hose has a lot more water, sometimes not very much, not as much water, but it does more of a like blunt thing. With this type of gun it shoots like several laser type things. But so, very good blaster overall, very good aesthetics. Um, for the reload, I recommend just pushing the button and letting it drop into your hand. Um, so, very good blaster. Um, you can get the Rapid Madness, which is essentially this, but cheaper. And that is on, you can find it on Amazon and eBay for like 10 bucks. Um, Walcom has even found it for 2 bucks. Um, this is just a reshelf of it, reshell. Um, I find it a little bit uh, better. Because it looks cool and it does cool. Like it works very well. So that's the end of this video. See you in the next manner. Signing out.